So we're taking a look here at types and values for expressions. And so the result of an expression is a value and all values have types. And so we have primitive types, no type, and complex structural collection types. That last one is a bit more complicated than what we are presenting here. But we're gonna simplify it and then cover it later, okay? So for primitive types, we have string. So you have your uh, double quotations, which represent your string. Then you have numbers, so this can be uh, integers or floats. Then you have Booleans, so this is either true or false. For no types, we have null. Uh, and so null uh, is different in all different types of languages, so it's very important to understand how it works. And so null represents absence or omission when you want to use the underlying default of a provider's resource configuration option. So when you're saying null doesn't mean it's nothing, it's gonna be whatever the default is. Um, and the default also could be nothing, it's just depending on what that is on the provider. So for collection or for collection types, complex structural types, we have list or tuple, and this generally looks like an array. Then you have map and object, and this looks like basically like a JSON object or um, a Ruby hash, or I think they call it in Python a dictionary. Uh, so that gives you an idea of the basic types. But for this last one here, because this I found really confusing, list tuples, map object, we definitely explain this more in the course, okay?